Uh, joining me now is the National Vice President of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Mr. Jay Panda. He created a storm today with a tweet in which he was seeking accountability uh, from Bollywood. Uh, Mr. Panda, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, excellent, Mr. Panda. Uh, you, you, your tweet said, I came across shocking threads documenting personal and business links of some Bollywood personalities with certain Pakistanis and NRIs with an undeniable track record, encouraging violence in Jammu and Kashmir, who have verifiable links to the ISI and the Pakistan Army. I urge patriotic Bollywoodies to renounce them. Uh, what, which specific, which specific instance uh, got you to put out this tweet? You know, as somebody in public life for the last two decades, one keeps hearing buzz. And recently, I was getting a lot of feedback about the continuing connections of people who have uh, links to ISI and Pakistan Army with Bollywood. Now, we know in the past, uh, Bollywood has had funding from uh, the underworld that has been uh, linked to Pakistan and, in fact, has been operating and living out of Pakistan. Now, I had the impression that some of this had been cleaned up but clearly not all of it has been. So I was quite stunned that a lot of this information is clearly in public domain. So if you go to my tweet, you will see in the timeline many people have posted those threads. There is more than one thread, and they give specific photographic evidence of some MRIs and some Pakistani uh, people living in Western countries uh, who have two kinds of track records. One is on, on social media, they are urging people to commit violence in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, secondly, they have been shown being in Pakistani army bases and army camps with Pakistani generals. Uh, so that's a clear link there. And they are shown partying and hanging out and having business links with uh, Bollywood personalities. So my point is, you know, uh, the past was murky. So perhaps in the past, uh, a lot of things were acceptable, but that's no longer acceptable in India today. And I think it's high time that, that this information being in public domain, uh, people in Bollywood should dump these uh, ISI handlers, should renounce them, should cut their links. Now, this uh, Shah Rukh Khan uh, is reported to have uh, strong business deals with this pro-ISI, uh, you know, voice. Tony Ashai, who is also you know, encouraging violence against the Indian Army. And on the other hand, you have strong business relationship that this ISI man has with, with Shah Rukh Khan. How does this add up? I, I find it impossible to believe that Shah Rukh Khan would not know what this person's views are on terrorism, on fomenting violence against the Indian Army. So I'm not targeting any particular personality. In fact, I have seen... But let's talk about this personality threads. in this case. If Shah Rukh Khan, now, that this is in the public domain, prospectively, retrospectively, one can't make a difference. Prospectively, he should denounce this person. He should disown this individual. He should cut off all business ties. I agree. I think, uh, as I said, in the past, whatever be the murky background, at least today, that this has come to public... Uh, uh, there are several Bollywood personalities, so I don't want to name any particular one, who have been shown on uh, threads with photographic evidence, fraternizing with people. So no, you but have I'm cited one example. I'm talking about Shah Rukh Khan, who is seen fraternizing with, uh, with Tony Ashai. So I'm talking all about of him. Them, all, all of the Bollywood personalities who have been hanging out, not just with Tony Ashai, but uh, also with uh, Anil Musarat, in London, who's uh, been seen in Pakistani army camps. Uh, you know, they're, 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 some of them are... Anil, Tony Ashai Anil Musarat is, has been seen with Ranveer Singh. Anil Musarat has been seen with, uh, uh, with Karan Johar, with a host of uh, personalities. Uh, my, my, my point is, Mr. Panda, these Bollywood people say, you know, we are Bollywood people. We don't know politics. Don't drag us into an India-Pakistan thing. Does this work anymore? So, uh, I don't think any Indian can today avoid thinking about India-Pakistan when Pakistan's ISI and army continue to send terrorists across every week and keep killing hundreds of Indians. Both are armed forces, so 
soldiers and martyrs as well as civilians. So it, it's no good to say that, uh, uh, you know, we, we don't know about this, particularly since it's in the public eye. And I would like to point out that, look, I would like to give them the benefit of doubt that uh, perhaps they didn't know in the past, uh, but whether they knew or not in the past, at least now it has come out into the public eye. And I would like to believe that our Bollywood personalities are patriotic and they should do the right thing. They should dump these ISI handlers. They should cut their links with them. And if they don't, if they say this is our creative license, because you know the liberties they want to take with the word creative license. If they say, doesn't matter. This is, you know, their usual argument which they put, our freedom of expression, our freedom of fraternizing, our freedom of socializing. Then what? Then what? I, I don't think freedom of expression extends to fraternizing with people who are clearly involved in sending terrorists across into India. I don't think that's acceptable at all. So like I said, I, I want to give them the benefit of doubt for the past, but from the present onwards, now that this is, and you know, it's not just these Twitter threads. There are now reports of uh, Indian embassies and consulates abroad pointing out to some of these uh, personalities who have links with Pakistan and our Indian actors and others who may not have known about that in the past. Now that you are covering it, now it's in the media, it's no good to say that uh, they are from a different field and it doesn't matter to them uh, uh, if people come and, and cause terrorism and, and death and damage in India. Absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Jay. I think it's great that you've spoken up. I, I also believe that sometimes when, uh, when, when we are too subtle about it, the message doesn't go home. So it's great that you, you put out a very, very uh, unsubtle and straightforward tweet on this subject. Let's see where this rolls. Jay Panda, BJP Vice President, thank you very much. Thank you.